Good morning, boys and girls. We're here for Exercise Tuesday, and Mr. McDaniel's going to be going today with you through some exercises for you. You're going to do them in your classroom. Be careful of the people around you. Remember that. Listen to your teachers and where they want you to be, whether it be beside your desk, in front of your desk, or at your carpet. First of all, we're going to do some exercises at our desk. So, just as I'm sitting, I want you to sit at your desk. And I want you to reach up as high as you can with your hands and stretch those arms as high as you can. And then we're going to bring them down, stretching to the side as far as you can. And now I want you to take one arm and I want you to bring it across, stretching those muscles in your side. Use your other hand to hold your arm. And now we're going to switch to the other arm. Bring your arms down and relax. And now, I'm going to stretch your legs. I want you to hold them up, please. I'm going to hold them there 10 more seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And bring them down. Now we're going to bring those legs up again. See if you can do it this time. Don't touch the chair. Ten more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Very good. Now we're going to do some exercises standing. Be careful of the people around you. With this first one, what we're going to do is we're going to do some stretching. And what I want us to do is have your feet together. We're going to see if we can touch our toes. And if you can't go all the way down to touch your toes, that's okay. Mr. McDaniel's not reaching quite to his toes either. If you're stretching your hamstring muscles in the back of your legs, the calf muscles in the lower part of your leg, those calf muscles are called your gastrocnemius muscles. That's a big word, isn't it? And hold that there 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, and up. And now, spread your feet apart. We're going to go to the right side first, doing the same thing, and hold it there. And all the way up. And now the left leg. Now right in the middle. Ten more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, and up. Now we're going to get that heart beating a little bit. The first thing we're going to do right now is we are going to do some running in place. Okay, with this running in place, we're going to stay in one spot. You're not running around the room. And we are going to lift our legs up, running, keep going. I'm staying in one place. I'm not moving all over the room. And relax. And now we're going to do some squats using those muscles in your stomach, your abdominal muscles, using the muscles right here, your quadriceps. And so we're going to go down almost like we're sitting down and hold it there. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, and up. And this time we're going to go down into that squatting position and then we're going to jump and leap into the air and hold our arms up as high as we can. Now, we're not leaping forward. We're leaping straight up. So, I'm in this squatting position. And I'm going to jump. Straight up, lifting my hands up. Back into that squatting position. And straight up as high as you can. And back into that position. Hold it there five more seconds. Four, 
three, two, one, zero, and relax. Now, boys and girls, rest for a second. Next, we're going to be doing some movement activities. These are called knee lifts. We're going to lift our knees up as high as we can, and we're going to set the clock for two minutes, and you're going to do two minutes of knee lifts. I'm setting the clock. Begin. Got one minute left, boys and girls. Keep lifting those knees up. We're down to about 40 seconds left. If you need to rest, stop and rest. And remember to be careful with the people around you and your desk. 30 seconds. Final 10 seconds. stop. All right, boys and girls, let's take a second. Rest. While you're standing there and resting, take your arms. We're going to do some arm circles. Get those arms moving. If you need to sit down and do your arm circles, that's okay also. Of course, again, be careful with people around you and listen to what your teachers are asking you to do and where they're asking you to stand. And relax. And the next one we're going to do is we're going to do some jumping jacks. Now, jumping jacks take two different movements. The first one is your arms go up and your feet go out. Then your arms will come down and your feet will go back apart. When you put it together, this is a jumping jack. We're going to set the clock for two minutes again. Remember, rest when you need to. Begin. We're just about down to one minute left. Remember, rest if you need to.
for 35 seconds. Final 10 seconds. All right, wonderful boys and girls. Thank you for doing so not such a nice job with those jumping jacks. Next, we're going to work on something I know you all like to do, and that is jumping rope. Now, I know you don't have a rope to jump, but we're going to make a leap, and we're going to use our imaginations, and we're going to turn our rope as we jump. You can jump with both feet. You can hop on one foot. You can hop on the other foot. You can switch back and forth. Whichever of those that you would like to do. But remember, stay in your own space. Rest when you need to. We're now going to set that clock at two minutes again. And begin. See if you can try different ways of jumping rope. Like I showed you just a minute ago. Not just jumping, but hopping or switching feet. We're down to 45 seconds. Twenty more seconds. there and stop. All right, boys and girls, I want you, I want you to go ahead and have a seat back at your desk or if you're on your carpet, have a seat on the floor. And we're going to relax, rest for a second. I want everyone to take a deep breath. Boys and girls, I hope that you have a wonderful day. I hope it's got your heart moving and your brain working and you're ready to go to have a wonderful Tuesday. I will see you in PE. Everyone have a great day. Bye-bye.